Hi guys, Jenny here and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be testing out a full coverage Christian foundation. This Christian foundation is from NYX Cosmetics and I'm so excited to try it out. This is what it looks like. It is the Total Control Mesh Cushion Foundation. So what it means is it is foundation in the form of a cushion compact and I'm really excited to try it out. Now this review will be brutally honest so I won't lie to you if I don't like something. I'm not going to make this intro too long and I'm just going to show you the product and what it is about and without further ado, let's begin with the video. Before we begin, I want to explain to you my skin type. My skin type is very dry to normal. Most of it is dry. You can't really tell in camera but currently my skin is peeling off and it's very it's very annoying. Um, you can't really do much with it. I do scrub my face before I apply my makeup but I tend to try not to over scrub it because my skin is also very sensitive in a way. So. I'm really excited to see how this reacts with my skin. So here we have two of the Total Cover Mesh Cushion Foundation and I have the shade Almond aka 9 and Classic Nut which is number 8. I'm not sure which shade I am because they are pretty similar in a way. I think their undertone is a little different. Okay so now I'm going to be removing my base makeup. So these are the products outside of the packaging. This cushion foundation also includes a black puff which has NYX Cosmetics written on it. So right here I have number 9 which is almond. I'm just going to take it in with my finger and swatch it in my cheek. And here we also have number 8. So this is the third darkest shade on their shade range and this is the second darkest. I'm going to leave this in for a couple of minutes to see if it oxidizes or not. And while I'm waiting, I want to check in some information and reviews on this product as well. I'm currently on NYX Cosmetics Hong Kong's website and I want to see what this Total Control Mesh Cushion Foundation is all about. This cushion foundation has 10 shade range going from warm ivory, true beige, tan, shell, natural beige, light, honey, fair, classic chestnut, and almond. So I'm going to be reading out the description of this product on their own website. Pay your way to complexion perfection. Our total control mesh cushion foundation is filtered through a neat mesh netting that seamlessly delivers buildable coverage and a stunning matte finish without the cakiness. With just one pat, this lightweight liquid formula delivers the perfect amount of product and leaves the fresh feeling sensation upon application, available in 10 flattering shades. So it has been a couple of minutes and as you can see, this foundation does oxidize a lot. The color almond turned more of a peachy tone and the color chestnut became more of a yellow tone. From my perspective, I would feel that the color 8, aka the chestnut one, would be my perfect shade range. So now that we know which shade that I actually am, and also know a description on how we want this foundation to perform, let's begin and apply it all over our face. And I'm gonna go in without any primer or moisturizer just to see how this cushion actually performs. Also going to be using the puff that is included. Okay, I'm gonna take one gentle pat and it seems to have taken a lot of the product. So I'm just gonna go in all over my face with this. It is very, very full coverage from what I can see. I also really like this puff compared to like other ones that I've tried before. Holy moly, this is really good! So this is the before and after. This is without any foundation and this is with the cushion foundation from NYX. As you can see, my face literally looks flawless. Like, I wish my skin actually looked like that. I look. Blurred. I look amazing right now. Damn. It literally looks like I have like. It literally looks like I have no pores. 
which is something I wish was real. Okay, so I kind of want to use this as concealer as well. So, concealer. <laughs> I'm funny. No, I'm not. Apply it under my eyes. Wow. Wow. So this is it without anything. And this one is with the foundation. As you guys saw, this has kind of like a porcelain effect, which I also really like with full coverage matte foundations. But I'm also excited to see whether this cracks or not, because I've never actually tried this for a long period of time. Now I'm going to go in and cover this side of my face as well. Again, picks up a lot of product. So now I've applied it all over my face and from what I can see, this is very, very, very full coverage. I don't even think you need to build up on it because this literally covered my whole existence. It's amazing and it is very matte like they claimed. This feels totally different from their Total Cover Drop Foundation which is claim to be full coverage but I would say it's more of a medium coverage because it's more watery and stuff you know but this literally like my skin looks porcelain literally so I'm just gonna bring this down to my neck as well since this is a matte foundation I don't think I want to powder it I want to see whether it creases and cracks or not and also I kind of don't want to put anything else on top of it. I just want to see how this foundation works. As much as I would love to use this for a full day and test it out for you guys, I made a huge mistake and started filming at 10 p.m. and currently it's 11 p.m. almost so it's probably not a good idea and to stay up for three more hours, you know what I'm saying? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a water test and also a smudge test and a crack test to see how well this foundation performs. So here I have an empty bottle of All Nighter. <laughs> I just have this because it's very cute. I'm gonna fill this up with normal water. And I'm gonna use this and spray it all over my face and see how this reacts with the cushion foundation. So here's my face and here is water. I think that did really well. It did take out a little bit of the foundation on my tissue. Let's do some more. Wow, this is actually surprisingly very good considering that I did not set this foundation at all. It did transfer a little bit of the foundation while blotting the sweat out of my face. Now I'm going to be trying the wrinkle test. I'm just going to make as many weird facial expressions as I can. This will be very bad for my future because I'm going to have a lot of wrinkles if I keep doing this, you know? And as you can see, I don't know if you guys can tell, but there are a lot of wrinkles in my smile line. Personally, I don't think it's as bad as I expected it to be. I think it held up quite well. Obviously, this is a very mattifying foundation and also my skin is very dry. So I'm not sure how this is going to react for oily skin. But I think as long as you use a nice thin layer of it and not like five layers of it, it should not crack very badly. Last but not least, I'm going to be doing the smudge test because I did not set this at all and it does claim as a matte foundation. So I was thinking that if you smudge it, for example, like 
you're carrying something, you know, and accidentally like it rubs against your face, will it smudge? Let's see. Okay, I'm gonna use my clean finger. There's nothing in it, no micellar water, no remover, and I'm just gonna take this and smudge it. I'm gonna do it another time with another finger. So I can see two lines right there, but I think it's a very nice and easy fix. And I don't think it's like very, very visible as long as you just like pat it a little more. As long as you do another layer of the cushion, which usually people carry around when they're going outside. So here are my thoughts on this foundation. This is a very, very matte foundation. And I would recommend you to use a good moisturizer or skincare before using this because it will crack if you have dry skin. Second, it dries very well without any setting powder, which means that you might not to layer in a lot of powder and it's a very good on the go product. Third, it does oxidize. So if you are planning on buying it, make sure to swatch it on your skin like I did before to find out your perfect shade range because you know, you don't want to spend a lot of money and not get the perfect shade. Last but not least, I think this is very good for people that are on the go, that have work or college or school. It just covers a lot of big portions really quickly and also efficiently. And there's a lot of product in here, so a little bit goes a really long way. So guys, that is it for my review. I hope it was informative and you are able to make up your mind about this toilet control foundation. It is very, very full coverage, so I'm living, you know. I have no contour on, no nothing, and my skin literally looks flawless. A little flat, but flawless. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below what else you'd like to see from me, and hope to see you guys next time. Bye!